Hey, this is Noah from MakerState. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to create the prototype for the Materials Engineering Anemometer Challenge. To create our prototype, we're going to be using five paper Dixie cups that will measure to about three ounces each. We're going to use a pencil as the base of our anemometer. We're going to use two plastic straws to be the arms which the cups attach to. We're going to use a ruler to measure where we're going to mark holes in the Dixie cups. We're going to use a marker to mark those measurements and a scissor to cut them in. Finally, we're going to be using a push pin, which is going to attach the perpendicular straws to the eraser of the pencil base. First, for our base cup, we're going to take the ruler and measure an inch down from the rim of the cup. We're going to mark that with our marker, rotate the cup 90 degrees, and create four holes on the side of this cup. Once those holes are created, we're going to punch through those with our scissor. As a safety warning, we want to make sure not to poke our fingers with the scissor when we're cutting through the cup. Once we have all four, we're going to make sure that the straws can fit through them by poking through each hole of the straw and making sure that it's wide enough for the straws to go through. Next, we're going to take that straw and push it through two holes of the cup so that it goes directly straight through. Once those are through, we're going to take our next straw and push that through the other two holes so that there is a perpendicular cross in the middle of the cup between the two straws. We want to make sure that that's as symmetrical as possible so that the nanometer can rotate correctly. Next, we're going to find the center of the bottom of the cup. And we're going to poke a hole through that so we can push the pencil through. When we push the pencil through, we want to make sure the eraser is going up so we can take the push pin and push that into the eraser securing the cup onto the pencil. Now we have our pencil and cup base with four straw arms. Now we're going to punch holes in the cups that will attach to our nanometer's arms. We're going to take our marker and mark two opposite points for the straw to pull through. We're going to do that on each cup, making extra sure that the points that we mark are opposite each other so the straws can pull through evenly. Once we've marked each cup, we'll take our scissors and cut through each cup. If we've made mistakes in our markings, then we can correct that when we cut through. We have to make sure that our final product has the holes directly across from each. Similar to our base cup, we're going to take the marker and make sure that each hole we've punched through is wide enough for the straws to pull through. Lastly, before we attach our cups, we're going to take one cup and cover it with a marker so that we can measure whenever there's a complete rotation of the anemometer. Now we'll take the base of our anemometer, make sure each straw is straight, and attach the cups. After you've attached the first cup, you want to make sure the next cup's bottom is facing the rim of the first cup. You want to do this for each cup in order to create a pattern. Once all four cups are attached, the anemometer is complete and you're ready to start measuring the speed of wind.